He was born in, the warm heart of Africa, Malawi. His father named Triwell was a farmer. Growing up in poverty my childhood was a constant struggle for survival. We ran out foods when we hit by drought. Due to poverty, things at school weren't going well for him. He didn't have money to study further. I was dropped out of school, because my parents had no money to pay my school fees. But, he did not stop. He believed one day he can abolish the poverty within the family. After I dropped out, I went to the library and read a book, using energy, in that I got the information about the windmill and water pump. He just to try out his idea of making windmill and water pump, so he could help people in Malawi farming vegetables. But if I can be able to build a windmill to pump water, I can be able to start irrigation, growing food two to three times a year instead of only one time a year. Then I can solve the problem that we are facing in my family or in my community. I went to the junkyard collected some pieces for my windmill because I had no money to buy materials. People in Malawi thought he has gone crazy. Everyone laughed at me they think I am crazy, even my mom thought the same. But William believed in his idea, because he had a purpose, so he started working on the windmill. I used four blades instead of three, it's enough for four bulbs and two radio. Few months later he finally built windmill and pump to cultivate vegetables, later become the hero of the nation. After I drove out from school, I went to live bloody, and I read a book titled Using Energy, and I get information about windmill, and I try and I made. As a result of his effort, William was invited to visit the U.S. for the first time in 2007. William was excited to be the part of programs in the U.S., where he could see and study the real windmill. My dream is to finish my education and in the future to start my own company about the windmills. Most of the people they want technology without electricity. That's what I'm planning to do to come up with reliable electricity. I hope everyone liked the story of William Kamkwamba. He is the man of genius who puts his effort to help his family and people in Malawi. Let's hear the voice of our legend. When I look back from the time that I started my project to now, I face so many challenges that could have simply stopped me from achieving my goal. But one thing that really like helped me is that challenges are not there to stop you from uh, achieving your goals. No matter who you are, where you are in life, you're gonna face some challenges, but don't allow those challenges to take away your dreams. Because all the people that they are successful today, at some point they face some challenges, but they didn't allow those challenges to take away their dreams. That's why they are successful. Everything in life is possible. If you put up your mind and you trust yourself, you're going to be able to uh, achieve it.